So today is Martin Luther King Day. And I thought I'd talk a little bit about that today. And some conversations I've been having and some thoughts I've been having around the topic, around the man, around what it means and what it represents and what the day means and represents. Because inevitably, for me at least, every year when this day comes around, there's at least some discussion um, of like, should we really need a day off that day? Like, really? Like, do we really need that? Is that really one of the important holidays that we should take off? And listen, there's a lot to be said about that. And I can imagine somebody being right off the bat offended by that, even that sentiment alone. And I get that. But I think it's worth working through and exploring a little bit, and at least how I view it, how I think about it. Um, my answer is yes. We, we, the collective, we should have off on this day. Schools should be closed. Businesses should be closed. The mail shouldn't be delivered. The garbage shouldn't be picked up. Life shouldn't be normal today. And you say, why? Why today? Well, we can get into, which we already know, the man that was Dr. Martin Luther King Jr., right? We know what he was about. We know what he did. There's been lots of great people in the history of the world. He is very much one of them. And the idea of celebrating him for what he did and what he sacrificed seems obvious. But let's even go a little bit more macro than that. The idea of like, okay, I, I get celebrating, but what's the point? What's it really doing? Why, why should today not be normal? Why should this not be like any other day? And my sense on that is what this day represents, the reason this is a day, the reason Martin Luther King is celebrated, he gave his life, what he was fighting for, obviously is all rooted in racism, right? Mistreatment of a group of people. In this case, predominantly black people. That's not all he spoke about. Um, but that's what we're talking about mainly. And obviously racism in this country has its roots back to slavery. It's just what it is. It's just the reality of what it is. Uh, does slavery exist in other parts of the world? Of course. Have other horrible things happened in the world? Of course. But we're talking about within this country and this topic. When I think about slavery, racism, the tale that comes with that, um, the phrase that keeps coming to my mind is, we, we did this. The rhetorical collective, we, humans, humans did this, right? This isn't um, cancer, COVID, natural disaster, all these things which are horrific. And you could argue, well, why don't they all have a day? And why, why, why are things normal any day when all this horrible stuff is happening? Because we did this. This was completely humans just making a shitty decision to do something shitty to a group of people. And because of that, we did it. We have a responsibility to do something about it. And we're still trying to figure that out. What do we do about it? How do we fix this? How do we make this right? How do we account for what we did? But I think a day like this, making it not a normal day, maybe small, may be symbolic, but it represents us, the collective us, trying to, in some small way, <laughs> go above and beyond, do something unnatural, to show that we have to do something to, about this, right? We can't just go on like a normal day and just work. We should stop everything and be forced to think about and reflect, have our kids ask, why are we off today, right? What, what is going on? Force companies to talk about, should we be off that day? What does it mean? Because we should be looking at this and thinking about this and forced to reconcile it and figure out how do we address this? We should be forced to recognize a day like this, even if it causes an inconvenience and well, now my kid's home from school and what am I supposed to do? And there's this project I'm working on and it's got to get done and there's money to be made and all that shit, right? It's all real. I get it. But we did this. So we have a responsibility to do something about it. And this is one small token, one small thing, but it's representative and it sends a message that it matters and that we care. And I think that's important enough. And I'll say like, Again, we, we did it. Now, we could be honest here, right? White people did it. And we can have a whole conversation about that. White people aren't the only people that have owned slaves. We're not the only people that have done horrible stuff. In this case, it's 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 white people, though. White people did it. And that's, that's, that's to me, that's what consciousness is. That's part of consciousness. We have to live with that. We have to live with the fact that we as humans, in this case as white humans, did this horrible thing. And we have to figure out how we reconcile that, how we go on knowing that, right? But where a lot of people go on this topic, and particularly what I'm talking about right now, this idea of we did it, a lot of people's response is like, I didn't do it. 
I wasn't there. I've never done anything bad to a black person, right? What, what are we talking about? It's not me. That's somebody else's problem. Well, firstly, um, the implications of slavery and racism are far-reaching and, and deeply ingrained. We, 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 it's hard to debate that topic. We could debate exactly the impact. We could debate a lot of things. But the fact that it's had an impact is hard to deny. So we, we I would argue, all have a role in this to try and fix it. But more importantly, even than that, to this idea of not me, I wasn't there, I didn't do it. I think we got that so wrong. I think the fact that some of us focus so much on who did it, who exactly did it, right? Who exactly was there? And that's the problem. It's not, not my problem. It's so twisted. We should give a shit who did it. It happened. Humans did it. The only thing we should care about now is how do we fix it? How do we make it better? If you find yourself ever thinking, why is it my problem? I wasn't there. Why am I taking shit for it? It wasn't me. That may all be true. But what matters is how do we fix it? And that takes all of us. That's an effort for all of us. So we need to reshift that, right? For those that are thinking along those lines. I don't need to take off Martin Luther King Day. I don't need to close my business today. I don't need to worry about that topic. I don't need to talk to my kids about it. I don't even need to feel guilty about it. I wasn't there doesn't matter. We should be talking about how do you fix it, not who was there. Us accounting for that and trying to track and reconcile that, who gives a shit? How do we fix it? If we would just put our energy towards that, towards this acknowledgement of this horrible thing that happened, that we did as humans, right? Didn't happen to us. We did it. And saying, that happened. I need to live with that. I need to know that us as collective humans are capable of that. Therefore, us as collective humans have a responsibility to do something about it. And if part of doing something about it is taking this one day a year to recognize somebody who gave their life in that effort to make this day not be like any other day where we are forced to think about that and grapple with that and reconcile that, that seems like an obvious thing to do, at least from where I sit.